Yeah, Dale Stein is a massive loss to South Africa. And, well, in the test game as a bowling unit. Um, they had done that last year as well. So he's done it before and today he just stepped up again. Yeah, well, if you're 21 year old bowling eight spells, bowling 145 plus, that's always exciting. I think he's gone a long way into international cricket. Uh, he's a quick learner. He asks a lot of questions and he's he's very knowledgeable about the game. I always said to him, your, your first season in any form of cricket, first class international cricket, is uh, is your easiest. The second year, people work you out. And he's one of the type of bowlers, you want to always, you want to improve. And he came, he said, well, Australia is hard conditions. And I said, you're going to be tested here. Uh, they play the cricket hard. Um, and he came and he said, well, what makes you successful? And that's the type of questions you asked me. Um, and he's executed. At the end of the day, I said, second year is going to be hard. You're always going to be tested the second season, and it's what you make of it. It does help, but unfortunately, uh, Australia had to bowl four days out of the, the four days. So I think the batting side, we asked the batters yesterday, and they said we, the bowlers need a rest when we knew Dale Stan wasn't going to play play a part in the rest of the game. The, the batter stepped up. I think uh, it goes a massive long way because I come from a small town in Paul as well and I know <laughs> I used to start, I played my whole cricket career there so it, it helps a lot. Not too much, yeah. I, I say well if you're going to bowl you just need to be relaxed, there's not a lot of pressure and this morning was just just talking about reverse seam, you, you know if you're going to bowl with the older ball you need to keep the seam up and that's basically it. The, the more the seam up is pronounced the easier the ball will swing. Well, Australia is one of the hardest nations. You know, when it comes to they, they fight us, they play the game hard. I don't think they're going to come here and roll over. It does help if you, you get David Warner out because he's he's been playing brilliant cricket. At, um, in the one day is back home, he played brilliantly. It's going to be harder. I still think the ball isn't turning as much, so the spin bowler. It's not a lot happening for him. I think it's going to be down to our two seamers. So how, how well far for the them is going to be key tomorrow. This trick is hard. I think you have to prepare to come tomorrow and say we're going to we win the game in the 80th over. Ideally, you wouldn't want that. But as our cricket goes, we could be playing the whole day tomorrow. Great over, excellent over. Um, that's why we want this cricket. That's why we're promoting this cricket as well. I think. Um, that's why people like to come and watch that. I think the real cricket supporters, they would love that over. And uh, well, it gave me goosebumps sitting in the, in the dugout. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Excellent. It was unbelievable. I thought that was the play of the day. Yeah, Vernon is that type of guy. Uh, first of all, his fitness improved a lot as well. He's been working hard. He has that, um, he's had an eight tour, so he's had a lot of cricket under his belt. Um, and as you said, the owner is that type of guy, when the team needs him, he usually steps up. Yeah, that's what we've been lacking, that's what Cricket South Africa has been looking in all our formats. And I think uh, Vern was excellent, he came, he batted well, he looked, well, he took responsibility. Vern from the old used to play, he'd come in and play a few shots. I saw a different side of Vern, he's worked hard on his batting and I'm happy for him.